This exotic excursion into the electric traction delights of the Indian subcontinent begins on the island of Sri Lanka, the one-time British colony of Ceylon. For any visitor arriving by sea, their first view of the trams would be at the fort adjacent to the main jetty. Although most of the more wealthy Europeans alighting from the steamers opted to travel by car or rickshaw, some did board the waiting trams. Here a well-dressed crowd clambers first on board one of the original open-sided toast racks. And then onto one of the locally built centre entrance standards. These sequences show the locally built standards modernised in the late 30s with centre entrances. The compact seven and a half mile system dating from 1898 had been financed by British capital. Owned and operated originally by the Colombo Electric Tramway and Lighting Company, the system had been passed into municipal control in 1944. The original fleet consisted of 24 open cross-bench two-axle cars. Number 7 was one of the original 1898 cross-bench cars, but in rebuilt form. A two-class fare system was in force. Over the years, the fleet had undergone many alterations and additions, so that by the mid-50s there were four basic body designs. The oldest were the 1898 cars, which after 1943 were progressively modernised with new sheet metal bodies. They had interior longitudinal seating. The locally built standards dated from 1913 onwards. These had been rebuilt in the late 30s with centre entrances and two and two seating. There was also a more modern looking standard. A few of these had rear as opposed to centre entrances. When the late Gwyn Thomas called in at Colombo during a voyage to Australia in the mid-50s, he made this unique record of the two surviving routes. The other, a short shuttle, having been absorbed into a new trolleybus route worked by British-built double-deckers. The city authorities had decided to replace its trams as early as 1950, and the first trolleybus route was actually completed during 1951. However, following a lengthy dispute with the electricity industry, the first conversion did not take place until July 1953. Standing at the front of the car, Gwyn Thomas took this unique record of the run out to Grand Pass as the four-wheeler progressed slowly along the narrow streets. The whole network was double track, except for a very short length of single track outside the depot. While serving in the forces, several enthusiasts did visit Colombo in the years immediately after the war, by which time there was no sign of any of the handful of bogey cars which had entered service before 1914. 
Having obtained permission from the then manager, Richard Wiseman had toured the 13 road depot and works on the 15th of December 1945. He noted it was well equipped, with six roads given over to overhauls and storage. Owing to wartime shortages, out of a total fleet of 52 cars, only 32 were in service. Approaching Armour Street, served by a mile-long shuttle route until replaced by trolleybuses in July 1953. At the junction, a glimpse of an XLT single-decker and one of the early double-decker trolleybuses, the first 35 of which were all BUTs. The terminus at Grand Pass was some three miles from the fort. Journey time back to town approximately 30 minutes. In 1945, nine cars had been required to provide a five minute headway. Shortly after Gwyn Thomas took these sequences, the government would nationalise all other road transport in 1957 except for the trams and trolleybuses, a move which undoubtedly hastened the demise of the remaining trams. Originally having a mix of controllers, from 1945 onwards most were fitted with DK-13s. BUT trolleybuses had a mix of Weyman and East Lancashire bodies. The final two and a half miles of tramway were replaced on the 30th of June 1960 by a fleet of 26 Sunbeam single-deckers with East Lancashire bodies. Sadly, this well-constructed system hardly paid for itself, being replaced as from the 2nd of December 1964 by ex-London Transport RTLs many of which would remain on the island in ever-worsening condition for many years. <laughs> 